warm welcome to all of you to IHW Spotlight, a web show brought to you by IHW Council, where today we will be talking about fertility preservation in cancer patients. When the survival today with any kind of um, treatment for malignancies is improving every day. So today we are not only looking at uh, people, especially young people, uh, on making them, you know, uh, survive, which we used to think, but we are also looking at the quality of life, which is very important. And as the longevity increases with the disease and disease free, they would like to lead a normal life. So there, there's a huge, huge role of fertility preservation. The drugs which we use for treatment of cancer, they do suppress your fertility or your ability to conceive, but it is usually for a brief period of time. Permanent sterility or permanent bad effects happen in about 20 to 25% only. They don't happen in all patients. That too, it depends on the type of uh, medicine. The patient has to be aware that uh, patient could turn sterile or infertile and therefore should act in the beginning itself. When all we need is a two weeks period to plan, you know, future fertility preservation. The other uh, thing is that we use stem cell transplants or high dose chemotherapy and bone marrow transplants. So there also we have to be very, very careful and alert and discuss the subject of fertility preservation before we start the treatment. In the long run of things, even 20 to 25% chance of losing fertility is quite significant. And I think that is where I said it is actually supposed to be a grand collaboration. And the problem really is that we do not have structured counseling or we do not have structured oncofertility units. It requires two sets of awareness. It requires awareness from the consumers and it requires awareness from the physicians, the healthcare providers, and indeed the entire healthcare ecosystem also.